Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to take this opportunity to say Selamat Hari Raya to all my friends out there who are celebrating Hari Raya and also Happy World Cup Day to those who are football fanatics. Today, I'll be doing another menstrual cup review for you guys. But before that, I'll be doing a short unboxing video because um, this particular uh, menstrual cup, I actually did not buy it, but I actually won it from a giveaway. So uh, how it actually happened was um, back in February, I think it was, I think it was this year. So what happened was, um, this brand Organic Cup, they had a giveaway. I've been following their page for about a year now because I've always wanted to try out their cups. It was actually quite expensive to buy because it is in euros. So I saw them doing a giveaway on Facebook and um, I decided to participate in the giveaway because they were selecting 10 people uh, as winners for their giveaway. So I was thinking like, you know, why not just try it because knowing me, I never win a giveaway ever in my life. Anyway, I decided to put my name into the giveaway and weeks after that, I was just telling myself, oh, the giveaway might be over and they might have their terminal, so I did not even bother checking or anything. Then I got a text message from one of my friends and she told me that I won something. I couldn't remember what, but then after thinking for a while, I was thinking about that one giveaway that I have participated. So I went back to check the page and to my surprise, I actually won the giveaway. So I was very, very surprised and I was quite speechless because I have never won a giveaway. So yeah, Organic Cup picked me as one of their 10 winners for the giveaway and um, they got me to contact them to provide my details and everything so they can actually mail the cup over to me. And when I received the cup, I was so happy because I did not only get a cup, I also got the wipes and also a wash. So it is like the entire package. And that really just made my day because I would never imagine myself having a menstrual cup for free and also getting other accessories as well or other things that come along with the cup. Thank you Organic Cup for organizing that giveaway. Uh, you just made this girl very happy. That's a little story of how I won the cup. So right now, let's get into the review. Okay, before we get started, just a disclaimer. I am not a medical professional, not a doctor, not a nurse, not a medical student. I'm just an ordinary person who discovered a menstrual cup and I like using it. So whatever I'm sharing today is based on my personal opinion, my personal feedback. So these things may not work for you, but it works for me. Okay, so let's get that clear and let's get into the unboxing. All right, so what was in the package? So I got three things and the first one is the organic cup second one is the organic wipes and third one is the organic wash all of these products are from Denmark Copenhagen Denmark so now you know why I said I couldn't afford it because it's in euros and um, okay so let's get into unboxing the first thing so it will be this one so it says, Organic Cup, the menstrual cup. Box contains Organic Cup instructions and storage pouch. It's a very nice packaging. As you can see, it has everything on all sides. So it has a lot of labels and instructions on the whole thing. It says up here, size A for those who haven't given birth. For those of you who haven't given birth, you can get a size A. Wow, the packaging is really nice. So it opens up like this. Wow, it opens up like this. Interesting. Okay. And uh, the entire inside is basically instructions on how to use it. Okay, so what it says up here is before first use you should sterilize the cup in boiling water for 3-5 to five minutes. So in this side, it's just telling about the history of periods and other stuff. So on all three sides, it's just telling you how to use the cup. So here they say step 1, insertion. 
step two, wear. And step three, removal. So let's see what they say. So number one, you need to wash. You need to fold. You need to relax. Insert and release. And rotate the cup. Okay, so it's almost quite similar to what I mentioned in my previous uh, menstrual cup review. Okay, moving on, number two, you can leave on, you cannot leave organic cup in for up to 12 hours, also during night, which, like I said, 12 hours. Um, organic cup holds up to three big tampons worth of blood. So that's actually quite a lot. Uh, the stem, okay. So for the stem, usually every menstrual cup will have a different kind of design for their stem. We will get into that later. All women have differently positioned cervixes and it varies how high and low the menstrual cup is placed in the vagina. So like I said, um, if you have a high or low cervix, when you put in the cup, you will know if you have a high or a very low cervix. So I've already explained that in my other menstrual cup video, so I will link that down below. You can just click that and watch that first. And um, so for the removal part, you can just wash, relax, remove, empty and wash. You can either reinsert or store. Okay, so that's all they set here inside. And uh, it's actually very nice. You can actually recycle this thing. So please recycle all your waste products. How does the menstrual cup look? So it looks like this. I like that little logo here. It's so nice. So it looks like this. Oh, okay. It looks a lot smaller than my Diva cup. Hold on. Let me get my Diva cup and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I have my Diva cup and I have my menstrual cup. So let's see the size comparison. Okay, my Diva cup and the organic cup. So if you can see, the cups are um, quite similar, but just that this one is a lot smaller and this one is a lot longer. And the diameter is quite similar, but I think this is a bit more uh, wider than this one. And yeah, this is the stem that I'm talking about. For some of us, we have lower cervix. And when we put the cup in, we actually can feel the tip. So you can just slowly cut off bit by bit. Or if you are comfortable with the tip in and you don't feel a thing, you don't have to cut it off. But for the Diva cup, I had to cut it off completely because it was very uncomfortable. So okay, let's set that aside because this is not a Diva cup review. And um, for this organic cup, it is pretty small compared to the Diva cup. So I'm not really sure how am I going to feel when I put this in. I'm not sure if I'm going to feel the tip. But I'm going to do a test soon because it's almost that time of the month again. So I'll let you guys know once I've used this and I'll share what I think about the cup. So let's see what is different about this cup. So, I don't think there's anything much different. It says organic cup here. There's actually a logo here but you can't see it in the video. Uh, there's four holes on the cup. Uh, it has two lines to show you how much blood that you bleed in. It's like the measurement label but it has no numbers. Uh, and this tip. So, it's actually quite soft. Okay, it's quite... Uh, squishy it's a bit like the diva cup so I don't think there's anything different there after you use the cup just put it in and just store it okay so that's all about the menstrual cup so the next thing that was in the package was this organic wipes so um, it says for cleaning organic cup on the go and it has 10 pieces inside uh, Organic wipes are ideal for public bathrooms, going out, being on the go. So I think this is really, really convenient to have. And uh, yeah, at the back is just instructions on how to use it and yeah, and other stuff. So let's dig into the box. Okay, so it opens up like this. 
and inside it has oh wow it looks really nice really really nice packaging okay so oh okay so I have to tear off one because they have two together so if you need to use one just tear it off okay so the packaging is so nice it doesn't feel plasticky but it feels more like paper like glossy paper and at the back it's just the same as the box like instructions on uh, how to use it so how do you use these wipes so basically if you are out and about like let's say in a public restroom and you want to wash your cup but you don't have a tap inside the toilet in Malaysia our public restrooms have a tap in the toilet and uh, usually we can just use the tap there to wash the cup for other countries I'm not very sure if they have a tap in the restroom so having this would be quite handy so you just uh, dump the blood into the toilet and you can just tear one of this and just wipe the cup clean and you're good to go for the last one it's the organic wash so so it says intimate wash for body and menstrual cup so it has 75 ml and instructions on the back on how to use it and the label on top and let's open this up it's so nice and um, you can tell that it's a good quality packaging so at the back it has the instructions on how to use it the good thing about this wash is they tell you what ingredients are for what sort of purpose so the first one is said aqua it's for solvent aloe barbadensis leaf extract is for it works as a moisturizer sodium cocoa sulfate and cocoa glucoside uh, it works as a detergent glycerin moisturizer citric acid as a pH stabilizer maricel as a viscosity stabilizer coca mydopropyl betaine as a detergent sodium levulinate skin conditioner lactic acid as a pH stabilizer and potassium sorbate as a skin conditioner so it's a long list of all the ingredients and what it is used for so I think it's very good that they explain every ingredient and also the purpose for the ingredients in this wash and um, it says it contains organic and natural ingredients perfume free, vegan and allergy certified so it even has this all these like logos on all the certifications and also uh, the shelf life so this one you can use it up to 12 months and yeah that's that's about the wash all right so let's see how it smells like it doesn't smell like anything but yeah it just doesn't smell of anything and it's quite colorless so good job organic cup this is excellent I will definitely use this a lot now the good thing about this wash it's not only a menstrual cup wash it can also be a feminine wash so a two-in-one how good is that okay so those are the things that I got from the package so I'll come back with another review on the menstrual cup once I've tried it I will update you guys on how everything goes okay so another thing I forgot to mention is the price of everything because I went on their website to check how much everything costs so for the cup it costs 24 euros for the wipes it's 5 euros and for the organic wash it's 7 euros that's the pricing for each individual item I will leave a link to the website down below so you guys can check it out so I'll be back with another review so stay tuned good morning guys so today's a Monday and today is day one of my period right now I'm gonna try on the organic cup and I'm gonna see how it feels so let me go put on the cup and I'll be right back okay I'm back after I put it in it does not feel like anything despite the tip being a lot longer than the diva cup um, I think it's because the cup is a lot smaller so I don't really feel the tip um, but it's just too early to tell because uh, I'm still new to the cup so yeah I'll do some check-ins uh, maybe after a couple of hours and let you guys in on how I'm doing with the cup and how it feels and if it leaks or something so yeah I'll keep you guys updated I'm gonna do my skincare and I'm off to work so I'll see you guys after a couple of hours hey guys so currently it's 
12.45. This morning, I put in the cup at around uh, 8.45, I think. So it has been about 4 hours and uh, I just went to check on my cup. So far, so good. It's not leaking. It's comfortable. Uh, but I do feel a bit of the tip, I think. But uh, I'm just gonna just put it on a bit longer to see if it's comfortable I'm just, because I'm going out to do a couple of things and also uh, at the moment I don't see any problems with it I'm actually quite comfortable with it so yeah I will check in again with you guys after a few more hours and we will see how it goes okay so currently it's 6 20 and I just got changed into my uh, workout attire because I'm going off to the gym in a couple of minutes and I also just empty my cup because I just wanted to empty my cup and I checked on the cup uh, it wasn't that full uh, taking it out wasn't a problem uh, so I took it out clean it and put it back in but I do notice one thing I find that it is not so easy to reinsert the cup. I have no idea why. I'm not very sure if it's because of the shape of the cup or whatever it is. As you guys saw earlier in the video, um, you can see the difference between the Diva Cup and the Organic Cup. One is slightly longer and more oval and the other one, the Organic Cup, is slightly more rounder. And I'm not sure if that is the reason why I can't insert it properly because I can't seem to get the cup to uh, open when I insert the cup. I had to reinsert it for about five to six times, I think. But yeah, I got it in now. Uh, feels comfortable. Oh, and I also cut off the tip because I wasn't feeling comfortable until the end of the day. So I snipped off just a bit. There is still a bit of a tip left on the cup, so uh, yeah. That's my update for now. And uh, so far, it's been 10 hours and I'm still feeling comfortable. No cramps, nothing. Uh, it feels like I did not put anything on. So yeah, it's, fr it's pretty good. So right now, I'm going off to the gym. So I'll update you guys once I come back. Okay, I'm back home from my long, long workout and dinner. So right now I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna take the cup out one last time before I put it back in and this marks, uh, let's see what time is it, it's 10.46, last I checked in was 6.20, so it's another additional 4 hours, so it's 14 hours. I'm gonna take a shower, take the cup out, check everything and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Right, I'm back and... Uh, right now it's almost 12 and my mom is sleeping next door so that's why I'm speaking like this conclusion for today uh, what do I think about the cup I actually find it very comfortable uh, a little hard to reinsert the cup because I'm really not sure if it's because of the shape of the cup because I don't have any problems with the um, the diva cup but with this organic cup, I just find it really hard to insert and also to remove. I find that the suction it just wouldn't release because I tried to pull out the cup. It just feels like it just didn't want to come out. It just feels like it's just sticking on. And it was quite weird, but uh, I managed to get it out, clean it, put it back in. And right now, I'm going to just sleep with it. And we're going to see what's going to happen in the morning. So... Yeah, I think that concludes our review for day one. So stay tuned for day two. And right now I'm off to bed because it's, yeah, as you can see the clock, it's quite late. So yeah, I'm going off to bed now and I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning everyone, today's day two of my period and a little update about um, the cup from last night. So it has been about... Uh, seven eight hours of sleep and um, went to the toilet try to take out the cup as as I mentioned yesterday it was giving me a hard time you know actually because it was very very hard to get the cup out because I'm not sure if it's because it's smaller it's rounder but the suction on this cup is just very very 
strong. For this one, it was quite a struggle. So it took me about, I don't know, five minutes just to get it out. But yeah, once I got it out, my cup was completely clean on the outside. Uh, not much blood inside. Um, yeah, I washed it and decided to use it again today. And um, I think I might come back in the evening and take out the cup and just cut off the tip again because I think I can still feel the tip but not at the moment but once in a while I can just feel it we'll see how it goes by the end of the day so right now I'm doing my skincare I'm using the Pium Kang Yul Essence Toner this sunscreen is by Dear Claire's and I really really love this this is my second tube of sunscreen that I purchased because number one it is very lightweight Number two, it does not leave a white cast. And number three, uh, well, it's light blue, so it's pretty cool. So I'm going off to work right now, and I'll catch you guys after a few hours. Okay, so sorry I didn't update you guys along the way for day two because I've been so packed and so busy in the office. Uh, right now, it's 5 p.m., so the last time I put in the cup was 8.30 in the morning, so it has been about nine hours. And so far so good, it's just that right now I can still feel the tip of the cup and it's driving me crazy. I'm gonna go home and just take out the cup, cut off the tip and put it back in because I'm going off for training. So I will update you guys after my training. I managed to cut off a bit of the tip at least like this much. It feels a lot better without the tip. Right now, after putting it back in, it feels so comfortable. And uh, I'm going to give it one last shot to see how it feels with a shorter tip. So last update would be after the gym. So I will catch you guys after I'm done with my workout. Right guys, I'm home from the gym. And uh, so far after snipping off the tip, it felt a lot better. I don't know why am I looking here when I'm supposed to look here. So sorry if I'm... Not looking at you guys. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower and uh, update you guys one last time after my shower. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm back from my shower. Just about to get ready for bed. And um, right now it's 11.05. So it has been a long, long day. And it's already past 12 hours. But in between, I took out the cup just to clean it. Uh, just to see the condition of the cup. So one thing I noticed about the cup today is funny how it stains so quickly because so comparing to my Diva cup, I used it for about three months. So it means uh, three period cycles. Then it starts to discolor a bit. For the organic cup, it's only my second day but it's already staining. So I tried to clean it with the feminine wash. Um, the staining is still there, but it's not. It's not that bad. It's not that obvious. But um, when I when I wash it, it was completely clean. Just that you can just see a bit of like yellowish color. It's it's not that bad, but um, yeah. So that's what I noticed about the organic cup. With a shorter tip, it's a lot more comfortable. So yeah, I think I think that's all for today's update. I'm gonna call it a night so I'll see you guys in the morning. So good night. Alright so you guys have seen my daily check-ins and other reviews that I've done uh, for the past few days. So what I think about the cup. So what I think about the cup, I think that it's very comfortable. It is just like the Diva cup and it is yeah it's, it's just comfortable. Um, just a couple of things I noticed. Number one um, the color on the cup, I don't know if you guys can see it here, but it feels like it's slightly yellowish. I've already boiled the cup, so um, yeah, so there's a bit of a staining on the cup. But uh, it's not a big issue for me, because they're made out of silicone, they do tend to stain over time, so yeah. So that's one thing I wanted to share with you guys, because I only use this um, for my first period cycle and uh, I think it's only been I think three days and um, it's already staining so I don't know how I feel about it but not that I don't like the cup but just that it stains really quickly um, and number two 
um, the insertion and removing process uh, was a bit confusing because when I tried to insert the cup, I actually just fold it this way. I actually fold it this way. Um, getting it in was a problem. I don't know if it's because if it's rounder or something, but inserting was a problem. Removing it, it was like just stuck on like really, really strong. Um, as for the removal part, I tried to, you know, grab the tip at the bottom, tried to just release the suction, right? Um, it felt like it has such a strong suction, it would not release until I really like um, pull it and really just move it a lot, then the suction will just release itself. And um, other than that, it wasn't a problem. It just took some time to get used to using the cup, so there's nothing bad there as well. I snipped off half of the tip at the bottom. I thought that because it's smaller, it shouldn't be a problem for me. The good thing about this cup is, it's because it's smaller than the Diva Cup, uh, I only had to trim off just a bit. Unlike for the Diva Cup, because it's slightly longer and more oval, I had to snip off the entire tip at the bottom. So, final thoughts, do I like the cup? Yes, I do like the cup. Will I use it again? Yes, I will. Will I recommend this to a friend? Yes, of course. That's what I think about the cup and it was quite fun doing some daily check-ins um, on the cup because it actually gives you an idea of roughly how it feels with the cup throughout the whole day with a longer tip and with a shorter tip and also how I go about my day with the cup. It was actually very, very comfortable. Other than that, I don't think I have a problem. Feel free to leave me a comment down below what you guys think about the cup. And uh, if you guys have the same brand or any other brands that you'd like to recommend, you can just leave it down in the comment section below. I will check it out. If you have any further questions about the cup or anything related to the cup, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer them. And yeah, I think that's the end of this review. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back with another review. So stay tuned and I will see you soon. Bye!